Welcome back to another amazing episode of MacBreak Studio, where we're diving into some uh, diving in to some great uh, another audio tip in Final Cut Pro 10. Right? Yes, can't talk too much about audio in Final Cut Pro 10. That's audio, <laughs> audio, audio, audio. Well, the thing is, audio is incredibly important, and and often video editors editors forget how important the audio piece is. So any audio tips, I think, are are well received. I couldn't agree more. All right, so this is a simple tip. Hopefully, it won't take too long, but it I. I think it's cool. You'll find this useful. All okay. Right. right. So, here is some clips of a, a recent uh, uh, production shoot I went with my daughter at the Catalina Island in off of the coast of Southern California, and and a lot of it you hear some underwater like bubbly sounds, but you hear the diver, which is me because I'm shooting a lot of breathing sounds. In fact, it'd be best if I just disabled that so you can hear it. Okay. So you can hear the underwater sounds. In fact, let me just bring this up just a little bit. Sound of underwater, you know? Yep. And yep. the thing is, I, I like the sound of underwater, but I, you can hear me breathing, kind of like. A little and distracting. I, I, right, a little yeah. distracting, and I wanted the illusion of like, there's nobody shooting her. Right. She's like a mermaid. Because it right? sounds scary it's now, a, like there's right, somebody right. coming up. Some creepy guy dun, sitting dun, on the dun, bottom, dun, 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 breathing, <laughs> shooting. Right? So, so how do you... I'm an underwater creeper. So you still want, you, you want underwater sound. <laughs> right. You don't want to change the video that you're seeing, but you want to use a different portion just, of the audio. I want to slip the audio. Now, if I if I press T key here, notice I can slip the audio, but it's slipping picture. I don't want to slip slipping the audio uh, and picture together because Final Cut really works to keep things in sync. That's right. Everything's in sync. Which exactly. is what you usually want, but not here. Right. So I don't want to have that syncing feeling. So <laughs> I, I'm going to. Your, I'm going to use your tip that I got from your well, warp speed uh, control warp speed shift heading. S. Actually, yeah, to make sure it's nothing selected, Control Shift S de detaches the audio. Detach the audio. And now I can press the trim tool and I can slip it and find the right. I, I'm not a big fan of this method because I don't like detaching the audio if I don't have to. Okay, because you can run other other sync issues. So you're gonna you're gonna be able to slip the audio independent of the video without detaching it. That's exactly right. All right, so that's that, the this name of this this, <laughs> this episode. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is step into this clip by right clicking or control clicking and choose open in timeline. Okay. Now I've opened it into its own timeline and this is just great. You gotta realize every clip in Final Cut is like in its own, like it's like a container for media. Yes. yes. So so here we have the clip and then out, outside here, this is all handle frames. Oh, so the little band, the, the lighter band is what you're using what you, in the yeah, project. Look at it, even has an in and out point. Yeah, and the rest, the rest is a handle. Right. Okay. Now, I can't really slip this because I'm looking at the full range of media right here. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is find the section I, I want, the, the, the bubbly or the underwater sounds without the heavy breathing. Right, right here, I'm not sure. So I wait till I take a breath. And uh -huh. then that's why I'm exhaling or something, right about, right about there. So what I'm going to do is move my playhead. That's the section I want. I'm going to select it and press M. That's just a, mar a reference point. That's okay. what I want to use. You've dropped a marker right dropped there. Dropped a marker. Mm -hmm. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to trim this up. And Funnel Cut allows you to kind of trim the audio up inside this little container. Right. So that you so in order that you can do a trim. That's right. Because you can't trim if there's no handles. Um, handles. Exactly. So now I'm going to press T. And this is this is just so fantastic, Mark. With with the trim the trim tool, I can just now just kind of move this over, and then that's the section and I you, want to use. It'll well, mark as a, a reference. You know, mark as okay. a re reference point. Uh huh. And then all I need to do is step back out, and I'm using a totally different section of the audio without having to detach the clip. Nice. So you don't have a, a just a clip dangling there. No, da no, da no danglers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did one of your tutorials? Didn't you have one say like how to deal with how to add? I danglers? don't remember. Anyway, so. <laughs> There it is. See, no, very, no very breathing nice. sound. I just, it's just a fantastic little tip. You can nice. jump in there and, nice. and do stuff inside so the container. So slipping just the audio portion of a clip without, without detaching, detaching it. it. It's a long title, but it's exactly what it means. So yep. it's great, very good, and very simple and clean and to the point. Awesome. Yeah. Steve, thank you. RippleTraining.com, you've already stopped the video because you've gotten your tip, but RippleTraining.com, <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, you know, check us out. We'll be here next week doing this again. Thank you for your support. We really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, so thank you, and we'll see you again on MacBreak Studio.